Hi everyone, so this is our next video, fifth video in fact. So let's give it a go. I'm going to go and attempt this question called Lonely Integers. It's also part of the one month prep kit. I'm thinking of expanding beyond the hacker rank series, like maybe lead code some important questions. I saw something interesting as well over there. So I'll share more as we go along. So yeah, let's jump straight into Lonely Integers. So, okay, let's read the question. So given an array of integers where all elements but one occur twice, find the unique element. Oof, my ID is loading forever. Okay, nice. Okay, so an array of integers where all elements but one occur twice and find the unique element. So each element occurs twice except for one, which is four. Okay, that seems all right. Okay, typically when there's something, in most hacker rank questions, in fact, a dictionary or a hash map kind of a item, uh, it's, it's a really powerful tool. So that is something that we always go to when we come to hacker rank. Let's see, like whenever, when, when stuck, throw a hash map at it. That is the meme that goes around in the hacker rank communities. So um, let me see, does it help? Okay, how would a dictionary play out over here? The first thing that I'm thinking about is we need a way to pass through all of them once. And as we once we pass through all of them, we would know which ones are the ones with multiple. So we can maybe have a dictionary that looks like this. One is two, two is two. There are three, two occurrences, of, two occurrences of three and one occurrence of four. While this seems like an uh, like it's it's just an approach. We're just brainstorming here. While this would be useful in a different type of context, in this context, it doesn't really help us because we are not able to find like we are not able to identify the key from the value. We can do the other way around. We can find the value from the key, but we cannot do the from key from the value. So in that case, we need something else. We need something a bit different to handle this now. So what we can do is, um, let's look for more clues. Let's read further if there's anything that hits us now. Okay, vintages occur once. Okay. Okay, I think I found a different strategy now. Unique element. Uh, beginning pro beginner programmers might not notice, might not have had exposure to this yet, but in Python, there is this nifty tool called set. So a set is essentially a way to like distill repetition and get just the main items inside. It looks like a hash map. It's a hash day. Like, like it looks like a dictionary, but it's not. It does not operate as a key value pair it only has values inside. So let's say for instance, I'm doing set A. You can try it on your ID, just type in A is equal to this array and put set A and see what you get. You would get something like this, one, two, three, four, in order of occurrence. And that's it. You only get the ones that have been in sequence. Uh, you'll just get those that are present in the, in the array. So it's like to find the distinct items in that array. So using this, you can find a strategy actually. Now let's say I sum this and I multiply it by two. I get one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let me not confuse you guys. I'll erase the, this one. When I have a set, I first distill it into individuals. Then I multiply them by two. Like I, I, I duplicate the same set twice. I get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now compare this against this. The only difference is a four, which is pretty much my solution now. I pretty much just laid out the solution. I don't know if you guys can see it yet, but basically if I can distill it first and then multiply it by two, I can pretty much just compare these two and then get a solution. Okay, so how do I compare them? I can sum this and I can sum this and I just find the difference between these two and the difference would be the missing four. And that will be my answer.
so yeah, uh, I'm actually quite uh, happy that I was able to think of this now. But yeah, some of the solutions and strategies come with more practice as you find out more tricks that can be there in a hacker rank question. So let me just code it out. I will type it out in Python because it's 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 kind of Python is quite easy to interpret as well. So for those who didn't get my explanation, hopefully my code helps you guys a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to make a set and the set is going to be, uh, yeah, I'm just going to make a set which will distill all the, the duplicates in, in this set, it, the set with the T, T, it will have only one occurrence of each element inside. And in my next row, I can already return my solution, my final answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sum the set, set it, yeah, T, another T. Okay, come on, it's lagging a lot. Multiply by two minus a sum of the regular set, uh, the regular A, the list that is coming in for us. So what am I, what I'm doing over here is sum A is the original, which is this and sum set it multiplied by two is I find the sum of this and I multiply by two, which is the equivalent of finding the sum of this value. So if you compare the sum of this versus the sum of this, you just see that there's a missing four, which is what we will get as well. If we run the code, so let's run it. Yay. Nice. So, yep, we do get the answer. So let's submit to the big one. Hopefully there's no errors now. Oh, I really need to see what's going on. It's the problems with me or hacker rank. But yeah, we got all the test cases. So yeah, um, for those who are still wondering what actually happened, do feel free to let us, let me know in the comments. I will try to explain them a bit more. But basically, we are using this toolkit called set to distill the duplicates and yeah, play around with it. So for those who are wondering about the time complexity of this, it might seem like, it, like there's a lot of computationally heavy items. But just to be remind, uh, just to be, let's just calculate. A set kind of, op a set operates in n time complexity. Sum also operates in n time complexity. And this sum also operates in time complexity. Actually, set it would be n half. But either way, when we are just adding these things together, like n plus n half and n, essentially all of this is just n complexity. Like we, we only consider them n squared if there's like a compounding. Like if this, there's a multiply with another n operation, then it is n squared. But otherwise, this would just be considered n, n complexity. So hope you guys enjoyed that video and I certainly enjoyed it. I, I don't know. I don't think I would have thought of this usually, but okay. It's a strategy. Like you practice enough and then you get a hang of it and then you can deploy more strategies to work for you in real life. So yeah, hope you guys learned something new and hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know how I can improve. If you would like to see any other questions, do let me know as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.